was the end of a you know a four game road swing. Uh, you know, the previous week we'd been in Alaska and uh, and then come home and and uh, you know have to turn around and play on a Tuesday night uh, after the yeah, Alaska trip on the road at Western Oregon was pretty tough. Uh, and uh, we were shorthanded. Uh, Xavier Smith uh, down with the flu, and we've had some guys, including the head coach, uh, <laughs> down with the flu this week, uh, and really just due to the fatigue and the travel. And uh, so it was, a, you know, it was a disappointing week. We didn't, you know, we didn't come out with uh, with a win at Western Oregon or on the road uh, on Saturday at Montana State Billings. But I thought we, you know, we did some good things and some things to build on. And you know, we're, I know we're really excited to be be at home this week. Uh, you know, finally after a long road swing, and and looking forward to the two games ahead. You know, with Seattle Pacific Thursday, and, and of course St. Martin's on Saturday. Yeah, uh, Elroy E. Butler really, uh, you know, got an opportunity with with Xavier being out, and he just, you know really jumped in and made the most of it. I was really excited. He had a career high 15 points against Western Oregon and uh, played some good solid minutes for us also at Montana State Billings. In fact, uh, you know, he had a couple of good looks from the three that would have really helped us that I was surprised he missed, you know, because he's been shooting it so yeah. well. Uh, you know, but Dom continues to be just really super consistent and, you know, a workhorse for us on the boards. He does a lot of things for us, uh, you know, has a real versatility to his game uh, that's translated really well uh, coming in as a, as a transfer uh, from Glendale uh, Community College in Arizona. And we're just thrilled about, you know, his his season so far and, the, you know, what, what he has uh, down the road for us. I think he's just going to be an extraordinary player for us. So um, I'm... I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, born and raised. Uh, I went to, originally before Glendale, I was at a, a NAIA Arizona Christian. I registered it and then ended up transferring and played two years at Glendale. And uh, first time I ever got some buzz from Concordia was after I played uh, Pima Community College. I, it was a crazy game. I don't know what I did. I had 40 points and 18 <laughs> rebounds. And then I got a text message from coach from the assistant coach Matthews and a head coach phone call a couple days later. And I always kind of wanted to come to the Pacific Northwest and just see what it was. and. I mean, I'm really happy I came here because I got to be versatile, like you said, and get to play my game. And I love this group of guys that we have, coach and staff. It's a really fun year this year. Mm -hmm. Going pretty well, like from the moment I moved out here, you know, I I mean, I live with a couple of the teammates mm -hmm. and stuff, but just like from the moment I got here, it was just a really good bond. Throughout my years of playing basketball, this is truly the first year where I feel like I mingle with everyone and I can feel like I can reach out to anyone and it's just, it's a really good environment. The school's small, but it's like a good environment. And just everyone's nice to each other. I'm just really happy to be here with the city and just for my major, it's a it's a great opportunity. Well, we've got two of the top teams in the GNAC coming in, and, and Seattle Pacific is, uh, uh, you know, a big physical team. Uh, they space the floor well. They rebound extraordinarily well. They shoot the three. Um, you know, we're we're going to have our work cut out for us. Um, you know, we feel like. Uh, you know, being able to uh, you know, keep them off the boards, uh, you know, and also, you know, do a better job in our offensive execution. You know, I, I think we have some really good offensive weapons and, you know, we need to we need to make sure that, you know, we're firing on all cylinders. But, you know, one of the things we've been working on in practice is, you know, shoring up our, our defensive, uh, some of our shortcomings. And, and I think uh, yesterday I was actually ill and, and the, head, the, the assistant coaches took over as, as the head coaches <laughs> yesterday and did a marvelous job, you know, obviously kept me up to speed on what was going on. And we talked specific things we wanted to work on and thought we had a really good practice yesterday on, on all accounts. So, uh, you know, today, you know, we'll get ready, uh, do some more preparation for Seattle Pacific and then prepare on Friday for a, a really mm -hmm. talented St. Martin's team that, uh, you know, really shoots the three, really spaces the floor well. Uh, you know, one of the top three-point shooting teams in the in you know the entire country mm -hmm. in NCAA Division Two. So, be two great ball games. We're looking forward to having some fans come out and see some exciting GNAC basketball. That's going to be very important because uh, <coughs> these are some crucial games for us. And now that we kind of know that we, what we need to work on, which is really defense, I feel like we've just been like gathering up together and just getting ready for it. like practice has been really intense lately and very competitive, and it's kind of exciting. Like. It's had like the anticipation of kind of just getting to play again just to prove ourselves with these two games coming in. I'm really excited for it.